Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making oat waffles and this is a really simple recipe. You just need a blender or food processor and a waffle maker. And for the ingredients, it's only two different ingredients. You just need a ripened banana. I have one right here that looks nice and spotted. And you need one cup of old fashioned oats. And that's pretty much it. We are gonna use some water, but you only need two things when you go to the grocery store. Um, so this is a really simple recipe too because it's one to one. It's one cup of liquid. You could use unsweetened nut milk if you'd like or water. Um, I'm using water today. One cup and it's one cup of old fashioned rolled oats and one banana. So this might be my one to one uh, oatmeal re waffle recipe. I might call it that. So what you're gonna do, it's really simple, is you're just gonna add your liquid to your blender or food processor, add your rolled oats, and your banana. And we're gonna blend this up to make a batter. And after we, I come back, I'll tell you how we dress it up. Sometimes we add some other ingredients to make it fun, or sometimes we just do it like this, and then we add our toppings. But super simple to remember, you're gonna love it. I'm gonna go blend this. I'll see you guys back in a second. This makes the perfect waffle batter. It just makes kind of like plain waffles. So this is really the end of the recipe. You would just scoop out. I use one fourth of a cup to make small waffles or you could do half a cup to make a larger waffle. But that's like the base recipe. Now we change it up all the time to make them interesting or fun um, depending on what mood we're on. In October we use pumpkin spice. Um, to make more like pumpkin waffles. Lately, I've been loving a little bit of cinnamon, which I'm gonna pour in. About a, I would say a tablespoon and a half of cinnamon. I really like cinnamon. We could add some vanilla. I just change this up. And then to make sure I'm getting in my flax and chia seeds, what I've been doing lately is adding one tablespoon of both to the batter. So this is optional. You could also add some cacao or cocoa powder to this to make it a chocolate waffle. You can change it up. We've added peppermint extract to make it more pepperminty around Christmas. So many different ways. And then for the topping, you can add fresh fruit or kind of make a um, syrup with a fruit. Again, it's just like endless. You could add some um, homemade almond butter that's raw, like so many different variations. But like I said, the base ingredients are only really two ingredients, just bananas and oats, and then we add our water. But super simple, you guys are gonna love this. So I'm gonna add my flax and my chia seeds. Let me grab a measuring cup. can't see all the badges behind the kitchen island that moves. <laughs> all right, a tablespoon of both. And I'm just gonna whisk this together and then we're ready to make some waffles. But it is super easy, simple, quick, perfect for the weekend, perfect for breakfast for dinner, perfect for kids, adults. Again, we do this most weekends, and Monday to Friday I'm having oats and, and all this, all of these ingredients like in a different format just with oatmeal, but this just kind of makes it fun. Once your waffle maker comes to a heat that your, mine has like a little green light that tells me it's ready, you can open it, and you can make them big or small, however many you want to do. I'm just going to scoop a little bit out to the center. little bit more for this one and close it until it's ready like a regular waffle and super easy I'm looking for a larger waffle maker so if you know of one leave me a comment below because we got this one for our wedding but I like to make waffles for a large amount of people so I'm looking for maybe one that makes like four waffles at a time so if you have a favorite one let me know down below and that is it. I just top my oat waffles with whatever fruit I like. You could you could do like date syrup or maple syrup. You could put you know fresh fruit on there or 
maybe fruit that you've made into a syrup um, that you've cooked down on the stove top but sometimes I just like them plain with fresh fruit that's what we're doing today so I have some fresh oranges and bananas and three beautiful waffles so I hope you guys like this recipe give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're not and leave me a comment about your favorite waffle iron maker and if you notice that the waffles are it's coming up that it's done but they're still on the outside a little bit uncooked you can flip them over put your waffle down for a couple more a couple more seconds to a minute and then check on them that's usually what I do if I notice the ends aren't cooking as much as the top and bottom just a little helpful hint I hope I see you guys next time on the next video on Wednesday and I'll see you guys very soon thanks for watching bye